Go. Okay, ready? The silver rain, the golden sun, the fields where scarlet poppies run, and all the ripples in the wheat are in the bread that I do eat. So when I sit down to have a meal and say a grace, I always feel that I am eating rain and sun and fields where scarlet poppies run. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. God bless little baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> It's so difficult, yeah. Like, I'm arms length in here, and it's not heating up, it's just not cutting. And like I said, this hole saw that I've got here is one of the, the best you can buy. Like, I forgot what the brand is, but the stainless guy says, oh yeah, that'll cut it all right. That was two and a half hours ago. <laughs> That's killing me. <laughs> My patience is being tested. I did it. <laughs> what is it, 1.2, 1.2, 1.4, 1.5 mil? I'm so happy. So happy. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, so I got got it in the hole. Pretty happy about that. Um there's the condenser plate. There's gonna be a little loop here. Um because I can't bend it too much, so I can live with that part. And she's gonna sit at the back here in like so with mountain screws obviously some th probably four mil five mil thick screws going into the base here uh, there'll be a couple of zip ties to stop these from vibrating and things I'll zip tie that to the bottom uh, and then I've now just got to wire it up which is the easy part for me because that's what I do um, so basically how it goes is positive and negative to the battery and then a positive and negative to my controller here. This is a fault LED that I've put in, little LED here. Um, so that, that gets soldered um, to the blue and yellow here. And then this is basically just a switch that goes on the back of my controller. And how it works is, is that when the thermostat says, hey, it's above X degrees, this will just connect and then the, then the compressor comes on. We've got a fridge. Huh. It's been on for about 10 minutes. At 20, it was at 24 degrees and it's dropping pretty quickly. Uh, <clears throat> over about 10 minutes it's gone from 24 degrees down to 12 degrees. So another 10 minutes has passed and We're down to 6.5 degrees. 25 minutes. 25 minutes, it's down to 3.6 degrees, and the compressor's just stopped, which is what I've got it set to. The stainless steel shroud here, because this had like a one millimeter, even though I did quite a good job fitting this in. Um, yeah, so it's now got a stainless steel sort of fascia done. Um, I've just put a net um, up here as well for our food so um, the net sits here. It's pretty good it's not going to bounce around so last time when we were at sea we had a net kind of here and it would swing sideways like this and smash into this uh, into our um, porthole um, which was really annoying all the fruit food was getting bruised and battered um, so so now the net's sitting uh, this way rather than sitting um, port to starboard it's sitting sort of forward aft so we're gonna need more solar panels so more panels were needed uh, I'm using this PWM controller which I uh, 
don't recommend at all. Uh, so the controller, first thing I'm going, is going to mount it. So like I said, we'll mount it up here. But from this controller is my sort of a hand unit. This is just makes it a lot easier to control the unit, program it. I've also bought the USB lead as well. Uh, so I've got to mount this somewhere now. So I've got it mounted here with four stainless screws. Um, it's sitting there well. So next thing we're going to install here is the temperature sensor goes into here. Uh, so this is the temperature sensor. I'm just going to plug it in, click, and that sensor will sit on my battery. So the, the computer, which is basically what it is, will know the temperature, the exact temperature of the battery through this sensor. Um, the next thing we want is power. So this is uh, a connector, an RC connector. We're going to take that off and we're going to go into my battery, which is the middle one. So well, let's do that now. So I just plug this in and straight up, oh, the sun has just gone in, but I was getting eight and a half amps. Still, it's charging, 17.2 volts in, battery's 13 volts. Um, so this is the temperature sensor. So here's our new battery, uh, opted for giant power, 140 amp hours. So it's telling on here, um, I don't know if you can see here, but it's saying um, bulk charge and float charge. These need to go into the computer or the controller. Um, and it's the same as this one, 10.5 volts. So that's got to be the minimum. And then float and bulk need to be set at that in the controller. Fridge is this one. I, that goes directly to our fridge. Okay. The fridge is on. The next one, this is our battery. It's a thick lead going to our battery. It's 50 amp. And then this one is 50 amp going to our solar panel. So solar power's in, battery, and the load. Uh, and this um, Cat5 cable here is going to this special little doodah here. So this... What the <laughs> fuck is this? He's standing in. <laughs> Such a little <laughs> rough. Oh. It's rough. No, I stood in it before. It's from my. Rockets everywhere. It's from my juicer. I threw all of the juice. Show things. you me fuck. Show you fuck. Open your put your own. Look. Take them off. No, it's Get out. it's just juice. <laughs> it looks like shit. It smells funny. <laughs> So we're wiring in the, basically everything's wired up, okay? We've got all the wiring in and everything's working as it should be. Erin's now putting the Cat5 cable in, which goes to our hand controller. So it's going to go under here, around that, yep. And then that's it is. The hand controller is going to go here. And we're waiting for that to get delivered? No, it's just here. I just had it in my hand, but it ran off. There it is. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron put the GoPro down because she's blind on her left side. It just disappeared on her. Uh, lift this side up a little bit, just a touch. Stop. So he's going to screw this backing plate in. I'm not going to go too tight, of course, otherwise we'll break. It's only plastic or nylon. So that's that one. And. I can do this. Here. Here. It's done, it's done, it's done. Okay, that's that. So, um, we just want to apologize for the uh, the real lame videos that we're creating. It's we, we... If you paid us more money, we would have left port by now. <laughs> blink, blink. If we, we, we're struggling for a bit of money we want to go sailing and uh, this stuff, you know, it, it, there's no point going half arsed about it. Like these, these things are, you know, are there a necessity? No, they're not. Oh, what's happening here? Am I recording? Yeah, they're not a real necessity. I mean, you can live 
without a fridge. We did. We sailed all the way from Vancouver without a fridge. But Parents we come also, to take over. but we also came back. Uh, we, I am deficient. We're both anemic and, and suffering from scurvy. We were malnourished, and it took us about ten months to get better again after we made it back to Australia. And what were you missing? So, what vitamin were you missing out the most? Everything. A, B, C, D, B12. The big G, niacin. I think. Um, but all in all, I'm I'm really stoked. It's working exceptionally well. I'm really happy with the EP ever. It's great. And the panels, the panels on deck here. Um, so we've got this. So there's a uh, hundred amp hours. Uh, sorry, here's a hundred watts. 50 watt which isn't plugged in yet and then i've got this flexi panel which i can put anywhere on the boat and it's 240 watts both of them together and then on the port side i've got another 100 watts so 100 200 440 490 so i've got 500 watts so um that's a lot of that's a lot for, for a little fridge. I have other things to charge, but but I'm pretty happy. It's fantastic. You can see only half of this panel is in the sun, and it's cranking it. It's it's pretty muggy today, but yeah, it's just with the panels the way they are. So this one's in sunlight, and those two, well, one basically, I'm using about half of the panels that I have. Um, so that would relate to 5.5 amps. So I'm probably going to get 12 plus amps when uh, the sun's directly up ahead. Solar install complete. And it looks all right. Wiring's okay. I'm happy. The solar controller's going. We have power. And my... Um, so that's a new light switch and this is a, a meter here it tells you the voltage and also it's got two USBs two amps each um, so you can plug in a light switch so I basically I've just replaced these things so they had these old cigarette sockets i do need one this one's all cracked so look it's just falling apart in my hands there um but i've just replaced these two and they're a um a usb one amp and two amp five volts so i got two of those in there um so that's good for power and obviously this also is a fuse box and it runs my radar and my um my VHF radio and depth sounder so it all goes into the bag of here it's sealed and it's really clean and nice in there um, it's a fantastic piece of gear look at that amazing a big old, old uh, bronze same with these tubes running up with the wires inside of there um, but yeah it's it's nice to have an actual USB and rather than using these big ugly sockets these cigarette sockets you know um like i said i'll replace this one and i've got another one to replace up forwards we're good for power now so all of my electronics uh like this is a charger for my drones uh here's one here that's a three inch uh there's about 200 kilometers an hour or something uh, this is an alien that I've had for years as well. Um, all of these have been sprayed with liquid plastic. Uh, you can check that out. I can put a link down if you want. But this uh, RP7 or WD-40, I just gently spray into the contacts on, on all of my, especially things like this. So this is for charging multiple packs. Like on a boat, everything's going to corrode these things. 
they're gonna corrode. So we'll clean it up and um, give it a wee spray and pack them away. Try my 110 volt shaver on 240. I've got some go-go.